Hi friends, welcome back. If you're brand new, thank you for stopping by. My name is Rosani, and I'm so sorry for my absence with my content, but I'm back and we are here. By the way, I am super sick, so please excuse my nasally congested voice. Okay, so I'm stippling foundation all over, and of course, I already primed and moisturized. All of the info will be down below. And this is actually the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm obsessed. I was watching Ridiculousness, so that's what this facial expression here is for. Um, I'm using the MAC Concealer Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. I usually gravitate towards NW for concealer because the pinky hue color corrects the under eye darkness really well. And then I'm just making sure I have no creases before I set my under eyes. <laughs> So with that Derma Blend powder that you just saw, I am thoroughly setting my like most oily areas and then going over it with a large powder brush just to evenly distribute the powder and further set my entire face. I have very oily skin so if I don't do this it will just be a greasy mess. And then I am setting my eyelids this way my eyeshadow doesn't skip or becomes sticky. And then now I am bronzing my face bringing some color and life back. As of recently, I'm getting into nose contouring. Um, before, I would just kind of run a little bit of bronzer just around my nose. But if you guys have any good recommendations of like good nose contour bronzers, please drop them down below. And this right here is Melba Blush from MAC. One of my absolute faves, but I'm low-key getting tired of her. So if you guys also have any blush recommendations, please let me know. Preferably MAC. And then to fill my eyebrows in, I have totally switched products. I used to use pencils and now I'm just like a firm believer in brow powder. This one came in a boxy charm and I am obsessed. And um, I just use those two colors that have the holes in them. <laughs> My inspiration for this eyeshadow look is Matt Daddy, aka Angel Marino, and I'm using Jeffree Star's Morphe palettes. I love this palette, and I'm using those three colors that I just pointed out. And I actually left this in real time. This is not sped up like the other clips, just so you guys can see like what actually goes into this, like the blending that goes into this.
with every different color is a different brush, at least for me. And all my eyeshadow looks for the most part are gradual, so I go from light to dark, and I never overlap the color before it. I want every single shadow to still peek through, and I will always have like a handy, clean blending brush just to kind of blend everything together and give me like a seamless, smooth blend. The star of this video is this eyeshadow right here. I wish I got two. It's from uh, last year's collection. It's from MAC. Um, but this formula, Extra Dimension Foil, ugh, you guys will see. And this shadow is not wet. Like, I just really, really worked it, pat it on. Yeah, there was a little bit of fallout, which is totally normal. But you guys will see how this like glistens and all the flecks. I love this eyeshadow. So I'm adding this dark, deep purple, indigo kind of color um, to the lower, like outer crease. And I actually should have done this before I did the blue. So you see, I'm kind of going back and forth. I'm adding the purple, deepening it up, then putting the blue over top. It's best to do your lid shade last. This way you don't have to go back and forth, but it's totally fine. You will see that on the other eye, before I put the blue on, I do the purple and the indigo. All this does is like dramatizes, I don't know if that's a word, but it just makes the eyeshadow look more dramatic, more depth, and gives you that smoky effect. So now I'm working on the lower lash line. First, I'm adding a blue eyeliner to my waterline, and then I'm tight lining with a black eyeliner. And then all the shadows that I did up top, I am adding to my lower lash line. Very um, smoky and smudgy. I'm just making sure that the entire eye look just ties together. And I didn't show this part, but I did add a little bit of black to the lash line. So just really, really close, add a little bit of black and just smudge it. And then this right here is my key to making any inner corner pop. You're going to add like a white shimmery shadow. This one is nylon for MAC. And then you mix whatever color you want to make pop on the inner corner. So I mixed those three. And this is what you get, like a neon, lime green kind of inner corner. <laughs> I finished the other eye off camera and I also applied my falsies. These are intoxicating from Flutter Lashes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on a new lip combo, of course. This is Honey Pecan Lip Liner from MAC. And then over top, I am applying Cork Lip Liner from MAC with Honey Love Lipstick, my absolute fave. <laughs> This is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one.